Welcome back. In the last video, I showed you how to make a metaverse using A-Frame and just a single index.html file. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can access or view your metaverse uh, with an actual VR device. I'm going to be using an Oculus Quest 2 since that's what I already have. Um, but yeah, you're going. To, well, pretty much what we're going to do is we're going to host this index.html file that you created, and don't worry, this will be completely free. To start, we're going to want to go to GitHub, github.com, and if you don't already have an account, you're going to want to create one. You're going to need this for this tutorial. So once you create your account, uh, we're going to want to create a new repository. So you can click here on new, reload this page. We just need to give our repository a name. Mine's going to be metaverse underscore demo. And feel free to give it any description you like, or you don't have to. Um, an important thing you need to keep in mind is you need to make this public, or else you won't be able to deploy your index.html file. Once you have everything ready, you can just click Create Repository. Once you get to this page, uh, what you're going to want to do is add your file to our repository. So we can go to Uploading an, ex an Existing File. We can choose our file. File is added. Uh, we can give a commit change saying adding HTML file. And you can add an additional extended description, but it's not needed. You can just commit your changes. And now we see that we have our index.html inside of our main. Um, directory. Next thing what we want to do is we want to go to settings. From here in settings, we're going to want to scroll down to where it says pages. And we're going to use GitHub pages to host our metaverse. What we're going to want to do is where we see source, we're going to click on this drop down and select main. That's where our index.html file is loaded. So we can click on save. And this might take a while, but your metaverse is going to be published at this link, the one that you see. Uh, this is my link, but yours is probably going to look different. That it takes a little while, but once your site is published, you should see a check, a green check mark saying your site is published at this address, and you can go ahead and go there. And yeah, you should be able to see your metaverse here, and the same way. We did before, you can move around with the arrows. Yeah, so now you have your metaverse hosted somewhere. Now what we need to do is use the browser inside of our Oculus device to reach this metaverse. Once you have your VR device on, you'll want to go to your browser. Um, again, like I said in the beginning, I'm using an Oculus Quest 2. But this should work with any other VR headset that has access to a browser. Um, in that, from the browser, I go to the link we just created and click on the VR button below. The easiest thing for me was just to email myself the link and open it from there. Once I'm in the metaverse, I'm able to see around the metaverse full 360. But I cannot move with the thumbsticks. But don't worry, I figured out a solution. The solution comes from this component, Oculus Thumbstick Controls, that I found on GitHub. And to use it, we just got to add this script and then add an entity with a camera and our Oculus Touch Controls for left and right. Um, this component actually already comes with A-Frame, so we, we'll just be adding this other component here inside one, whether if you want your left or right thumbstick to control your movement. To add it, it's pretty easy. You can just come back to GitHub, click on your index.html file, and we can click on this pencil to edit this file. We're just going to want to add this script right here, and then this. You can add it to the bottom of your other entities. And yeah, you can add another message to commit your changes. Edit movement, you can commit your changes. And then if you go back to pages, 
the publishing process will occur again and then you wait for the green check mark and it should work so going back to the browser if I click on the VR again this time I can see the controllers I can still look around but now if, if I move my thumbstick I can move around just to let you know if you do move around kind of fast it might make you dizzy it definitely made me but if you move slow it should be fine now I can look around my metaverse I can come up to my cyber truck I can see my helicopter I can see the houses I can go behind them Back of my houses. Move forward. Face the front again. So yeah, pretty cool. So I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did. Hopefully you were able to follow along. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave a message. I'll try my best to help you out as much as possible. All the links to the code and other resources will be in the description below. Thank you very much for watching, and until next time.